Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today I am doing the biggest canvas that I have ever done. This is a 24 by 36 inch canvas and is the last one in a mini series I was doing to go up in size and trying to get a bit of confidence in doing these bigger canvases. I'm going to be doing a black base and I've got these colours here. Um, these two are brand new. These are my uh, these are Amsterdam bronze and light gold. This is a mixture of a few different blues um, and some iridescent white to give it a bit of sparkle. And this is a silver. Um, I was a little bit concerned about the blue, so I've gone and grabbed a couple of my leftover paints that I'm going to drizzle in um, on top of the blue. So that's an aqua bright green and some Prussian phthalo blue. I've also got a bit of a darker, reddier. Uh, color here that I'll drizzle on top of there as well I think just to give some variation in colors and I'm going to be doing a swipe and maybe something else let's see let's get started okay I'm going to start with my black now I'm a little bit concerned that this is a little thick um, which should mean I should get some big lacing if I stretch it out well but it might be hard to stretch. I don't know whether to go thicker or thinner on a bigger canvas. So this is a test. Let's start with the black. Oh, why am I so nervous to <laughs> pull this? It's just black. Oh, it's okay. Let's do it. I'm committing. Well, I hope I've got enough paint. I do have more black if I need it. Mmm. I feel like I'm going to need more black. This one might be a fraction thinner, a uh, thicker, that's all. But I don't want to be shy with the paint today. Oh, let's pop those bubbles. Now I was wondering about doing a little dirty pour like I did with my last canvas. Um, but it was mostly the base colour with just a couple of other colours added in. So I think I, I'll have a go. I'm going to do a small one. So I don't have much black left. Oh dear. Then I'm going to add some gold and some... Let's go the three main colours. Alright, just a little bit of the blue. Now I'm just going to do a little stir. Like that. And I'm going to pour this through... Okay. Just leveling this out a bit, feeling the paint. Actually quite like that paint. But I'm scared I don't have enough. I thought I made heaps. Maybe it's just because it's a little thick. If worst comes to worst, I've got a little bit of Payne's Grey to wet my corners. All right, now I'm gonna set up my swipes. I'm gonna start, I might go through the middle. I'm gonna start with bronze. Now I'm going to be using this palette knife, so I better be careful not to go too wide. And gold. The blue. Mm, gone a bit wide. 
And then I've got, I might go a bit further actually with the blue. Now I've got the silver. Now, these colours that I have, I'm just going to drizzle. Just to give a bit of depth. Swipe <laughs> I made up some black, but I also think I want to do some white. I might do black through the middle and then white. I will try white. I had a bit of trouble in my test piece for the white. Just even out my black I don't want it too thick but I also don't want it too thin all right I hope these colors go well they look good like that so this is too wide so I might need a small palette knife actually let's go wide I'm going to use this one. This bit maybe I'll come around there and go back over that tricky I'm gonna have a big blank space there mm. oh, too much getting heavy-handed narrow it out Did, that drizzle did work quite well, so I'm going to do it again. Hmm. Are we going to swipe white? Let's swipe. Oh, yes. I think we will. I just got to make sure it's not too thick because um, the last, when I did my test, it stayed a bit thick. But that was right at the start, so I might just go back a bit. All right, here we go. in there and it did do that thing that I said so what I'm gonna do is swipe this way 
Mm. I'm not sure about that at all. all of that don't really like it I'm going to go back to let me turn this around I'm going to go back to doing the black swipe from here hmm really don't like that I love this though got any left Yeah. And the silver. And then get my other colours in. I'm definitely going black again. I hope I stretch this out well. Alright, here we go. I'm taking it very slow. Where's the silver? That's nice. Not a lot of copper, but we do have the copper there. Not copper, um, bronze. I do want to keep this. That's going to be hard to keep. Is there a way I can fix this up? I don't mind that. I've got some gold there. I like that, but I'm not going to get that. I want to get rid of that. Ooh, those cells there are actually quite pretty. Mm -hmm. Can we keep that and get rid of those? I need more paint down here. Now I'm going to wipe down the corners here because uh, if they're wet, it flows easier. Such a big canvas reaching over it. Probably don't need it as much in that corner because I'm not interested in keeping that corner. But these two corners I am. So, which way do I tilt first? This is actually becoming really pretty. So I want to keep this section but get rid of those. That's going to be tricky. Just giving a bit of extra paint. And getting rid of harsh lines just in case some of it stays on. Let's feel it. So 
the paint is quite thick. I'm going to try and go that way first. That's just to stop it rolling over itself. Once I hit the black there, it should help as well. I don't want to lose too much of the uh, copper, but I'm going to. I'm going to see if I can keep that copper up the top there though. Yeah, I think my paint is too thick. But I'm going to work with it now. This is annoying me because I want this off. I'm going to turn this around so you can see better. Somehow. to put a little something in here it's very blue not much of the copper which I wanted let's try again As I tip, that's going to stretch out a bit. Just break up that black area. All right. I'm going to tilt this way. Because I don't want that to come off yet. I want to see if I can keep a bit of that colour. Because we're missing it. Right, a little bit up here. Just looking at it, I think I need another dirty pour before I finish stretching it. Use up the rest of my bronze, gold, and I'm using my swipe mix because I'm out of the other colours. I don't think I've got enough of the bronze, so I'm going to add this. I'm going to take it through here. I've just lost my overhead camera, so make sure you guys can see it from the side. I'm going that way anyway. of my things has come out that's not good I really like this we've still got a big lump 
but it's actually going to create a little bit of movement over there and I want to try and get down to that corner without losing that up the top there or the bottom but I do need to get oh, the extra paint off I just lost my stand on that side oh, this one is challenging but the goal is to not be afraid my paint I think is too thick though this is really bothering me I'm scared to do anything to it because it's such a big piece thinking about pouring a ribbon it might help to move that paint off. I'm going to do it. So there it is there. I'm going to torch that before I tilt it. See if those colours open up a little bit. Uh, a little bit different on this side so I feel like it needs to come further over now lots of stretching in this one we'll get there okay I've started packing away but I'm not happy so I made up a bit of black and I'm going to pour it through here then I'm going to make up a mix and I'm going to pour that around and then I'm going to tilt it off and see how we go. I'm just not happy. Let's do a finger swipe. tip that off it's working right. still I want most of that off I'm actually going to get most of it off. Getting rid of all that blue. Now, bringing it back again. We've got some flocking now though, because I've overstretched it, I think. Okay, gonna leave it there. I think I've learned a few lessons. I'll bring you in for the wet result. All right, guys. I'm going to have to show you with these lights on, unfortunately. I thought these were a good solution compared to the big boxes, but uh, I'm still on these big canvases going to get reflection. Let's have a look. So I've got a little bit of flocking here, but it gives it a little bit of texture, I guess. 
I like this band and just a little bit of that in the corner this is just a bit of pop of color now um still not my favorite part i love having a bit of of the um copper in the, not the copper the bronze in the top and the bottom here i think that is a nice balance and then we've got big cells and lacing going through here so I like the colours of the blues um, and it goes well with the orange, uh, the bronze, but I messed up that corner. Hmm. It was that swipe, the white swipe that uh, buggered me around, but the good news is I know I can do swipes on this size canvas. I just think I need a thinner paint my paint is too thick for this size canvas um so that i can move the paint more easily it's a good practice i don't like doing practice though on such a large canvas but i had to i guess to learn all right i'll bring you back when it's dry okay here is the dry result Bring it in closer. The uh, iridescent white is nice and shiny, and I really like the lacing through here. Got some bands of colour. And I like this orange down here. I don't like this at all. Um, so I put put that at the bottom. Might show you a different angle quickly. Hang on. So that's a different way of looking at it. Um, I'm not sure what I think of that either, to be honest. So this one didn't really go as planned, but um, I really enjoyed the series. Uh, the first three that I did, I am delighted with, and I learnt a few techniques. That I'm going to keep exploring for a bit. Uh, so that's it for this one guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And I shall see you all in the next one. Bye.